Jeffersons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please, tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help this kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. You know what you need to do. secure for a reason. I'm Flack. If you want something better than that pea shooter, stop by Flack and Shrapnels. I'm sure that was just luck. You should upgrade. Check out our shop in the market. No problem at all. Later. your service. This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor of the Weatherly Hotel. Not that it's any of your business. Yes, sir. Time to go to bed. 
Time for breakfast. Died of radiation Let's go. poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. I'm eating right if now. If you're hurt, soon, I'll be back in the clinic shortly. Hurt. Hey. Sir. I'm Diego. The a Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. God bless you. Hello. Did you hear about the fight? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Poor James. His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Farewell. Hey. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know the first thing about this place's history. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for a while, but I didn't spend all that time here. I heard a rumor that old Pinkerton at Rivet City somehow conjured up a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. What do you need? She's my daughter. You can usually find her running around with that James Hargrave. We're the lucky ones. We don't have to fight just to survive. We have normal jobs. I clean the halls. It might not look like it, but you should have seen it before. Oh, I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. I'm just thankful it's here. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd be glad to help with your question. That poor child. His mother, Tammy Hargrave, is a very troubled woman. She spends too much time down in the muddy rudder, drinking and using foul language. I feel so sorry for him. I think CJ is a good influence on him, but I do worry about the two of them. Goodbye. Hello, mister. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. We don't get fresh water soon. We'll all end up like that.
It's locked for a reason. Don't, Don't get any ideas. Problems. Well, I need to go open up. Maybe I'll go topside. Welcome to Flank and Shrapnel's best goddamn weapons anywhere. Going to I need CJ. a drink. Hey. Stay chill, dude. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? Thank you. Yes, sir. It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Yeah, right. I don't think I could get him drunk enough to do that. I wish I had some amp pheromones. Trini says they would make any man lose control. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Want the gun? You've come to the right place. I suppose I ought to get to work. This should do it. Thanks. It was so noisy last night. Battle in the city. I could hardly sleep. The gate guard said the Maybe gunfire went on for over an hour. Maybe a quick fix help you sleep. City's That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good, good old Rivet City. I'll try that. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Hey. Hey. Hello. Some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Stay away from me! What do you want? Are you one of them? I'm sorry. I'm just so on edge all the time. You look where you're going. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah. Bell's going to have to replace some tables one of the and new chairs. Died of radiation I'm sure she... Think I'll go have I'm going some to grab fun. a bite to eat. Good to see you.
Hey. Evening. You must be new. I'm Seagrave. 
If you've got anything you want to unload, stop by my shop, Rivet City Supply. Yep, I'll take it all. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb, but I never really cared about the politics. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton, and he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. She did? Well, I suppose I've picked up a lot over the years. I mean, no one's spent more time tinkering on this old girl than I have. Oh, Rivet City, I mean. Not Vera. I mean, Vera's not old. And I haven't tinkered on her, obviously. Not that I wouldn't. I mean, um, no. Anyway, you might find some clues in Pinkerton's place, in the broken off bow. He was around before me and used to store stuff there before he left. Oh, right. The shop's closed right now. If you had read that letter, you'd know I'm no slaver. And you know I'm not dealing with them. But if that letter gets out, they won't trust me. I'll never get a seat on the council, and Bannon will make me pay for trying to replace him. If you care about Rivet City half as much as I do, tell Danvers that Bannon is blackmailing me. But don't show her the letter. See you later.